Well, after years of planning and construction, Expedia's new Interbay campus is now open. Hundreds of employees are packing up their stuff in Bellevue and coming here to Seattle. King 5's Ted Land joining us live tonight to tell us what the company is doing to keep commuters moving. We've been watching this go up for I feel like years. Yeah, and it's finally opening <laughs> yeah. after all those years. Over the coming months, Expedia's workforce will move from their offices in downtown Bellevue to a new 40-acre campus right on the waterfront in Seattle. The company says it's been planning for this for years, trying to get workers to try new ways of commuting other than driving to the office alone. The first wave of Expedia workers, about 300 of them, are already settling into their new space. More will arrive each week until February when Expedia's 4,500 person local workforce will have made the move. It's a state of the art campus designed with the worker in mind with sweeping waterfront views and plenty of space to step away from the desk. At a time when many companies are encouraging employees to work from home, this one wants its workforce to come together. In this congested city, when you start moving thousands of people around to different neighborhoods that aren't used to that, there can be some challenges with that. Um, what steps has Expedia Group taken to alleviate some of those concerns here? Yeah, we're incredibly f focused on transportation and we're transportation kind of forward thinking. So we have a number of different programs both to incentivize people to not drive their, their cars. The company says it gives employees $5 for each day they take public transportation, van pool, walk or bike to work. That's more than a thousand bucks a year to not drive. A new fleet of shuttles are carrying workers from the east side and downtown transit hubs. In an effort to discourage driving alone, Expedia is charging workers $16 a day for parking. That could cost as much as four grand each year. We have a vested interest. We live and work here as well. We don't like waiting in traffic just as much as anybody else. So um, we will pay very close attention to what's happening as far as transportation and, and travel times um, and work to, to alleviate those if they, if they become a problem. So Expedia says at one point, 57% of its workers were driving alone to work. That number is now down to 39%. Parts of its campus are still under construction, but Right here along the waterfront, there's a new trail of the Elliott Bay Trail, about half a mile, which is now open to the public. There's renovated park space, some nice outdoor seating, and of course, these views of the water. Back to you guys.